All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce your SmartThings home monitor into one virtual switch, which will allow you to use it in other applications like Sharp Tools in the Rules Engine and also on the dashboards. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be making our smart things home monitor to be able to be used anywhere outside of smart things. Right here on my home screen, I have this alarm virtual switch right down here. And if I hit that to be on, it's automatically going to change my smart things home monitor to be arm stay. And if I turn it off, it's going to turn my smart things home monitor to be off. Um, so that is pretty cool. And then if I were actually away from home, it would automatically change to away. So the one switch does all three states with one tap and based on your location, it will choose the correct state. This is much more simple than creating three virtual switches. I'm going to show you how to make a virtual switch real quick and then how to set up the automations in SmartThings. Then I'm also going to show you all of the rules that I have set up for my security in the Sharp Tools rule engine. So the first thing we need to do is create a virtual switch. So what you need to do is just go to a web browser and go to account.smartthings.com slash login and sign in with your Samsung account. Now, once signed in, you just want to go up to my devices here at the top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a new device, which is right over here on the right hand side. And then you're just going to give it a name. So I'm just going to type in Justin and just give it a random network ID and choose the type. So the type is going to be virtual switch. And right here on um, published is good. Choose your location that you want the switch to be installed at and choose your hub and then click create. You just created a virtual switch. So now if we go over to our SmartThings app and just go all the way to the bottom, you can see that um, Justin virtual switch is right at the bottom. Now I can tap that and it will turn on and off. Now I can also delete this from here as well. We're not gonna be using this one because I already have my alarm set up. So we're just gonna delete this, just tap delete and delete. And now you can see it's also been deleted from the app. Now you also can use a simulated switch, um, but right here, virtual switches are newer and run locally. Simulated switches are the same thing, but are older code and are cloud-based. All right, so over on the SmartThings app, if we go up into the hamburger menu at the top and we go to automations, you're gonna be setting up six automations. The first three is the virtual switch telling SmartThings Home Monitor what state to change to. And the last three are just saying that when your SmartThings Home Monitor changes to this state, to change your virtual switch to the other state. By having all six of these, it keeps everything in sync. So whenever your alarm is off, your SmartThings Home Monitor is disarmed. Whenever it's on, it's either in arm stay or arm away. So let's just go through each one of these really quickly. All right, so the alarm, that's going to use our virtual switch right here when our switch is turned on and our mode is away, then what it's going to do, it's going to come down here and it's going to change our security mode to armed away. And that's the security mode of the SmartThings home monitor. And then we also are going to send a notification, anyone that's attached to our smart things so they know the status of the alarm. Now also under the arm stay, whenever the alarm is turned on and our location mode is either home or night, then it's going to change our security mode to arm stay because that is when we are home or when we are sleeping. And then it's gonna send that same notification as well. All right, now alarm disarm. This is whenever the virtual switch alarm gets turned off, then it's just going to change our security mode to be disarmed. Now the last three here are just going to keep everything in sync, like I said before. So when the SmartThings Home Monitor is armed away, 
it's just going to turn on our virtual alarm switch. Now the exact same thing is for arm stay. It's just going to turn on our virtual switch again. And then also for the home monitor disarm, whenever the SmartThings home monitor is disarmed, it's going to change our virtual switch to off. And that just keeps everything in sync. So you have those six automations right here and everything works perfectly. Um, like I showed you earlier when I was turning on the alarm and turning off the alarm, you know, everything was working great. That is how you set it up in SmartThings. And also notice that those are these only six automations that I have in SmartThings. So over in my Sharp Tools rule engine, these are my security automations that I've set up. Now that I can use the virtual switch in Sharp Tools to control my SmartThings home monitor. The first thing you have to do is you have to define that you are going to be away. So if we go to security mode away, um, this is when everyone leaves. So basically it's going to, the trigger is going to be when anyone leaves. And then in the if condition, if our mode is not away already and no one else is present, then it's going to change our mode to be away. And then it's going to also send us a notification saying that, hey, um, everyone has left, so I've changed the mode to away. That's just letting us know that it did work. Now, the second one is the security alarm on goodbye. So this is when our alarm actually turns on when um, everyone leaves. So the trigger for this automation is actually when our mode changes to away. So when our mode changes to away, that means everyone is left. And if the alarm is off, then it's going to turn the alarm on. It's also going to turn on our Alexa guard. It's going to send out our vacuum cleaner to clean. It's going to lock the back lock, kitchen lock, front lock, and close the garage door. So all of that stuff is going to happen when we leave. All right, now I also have a separate automation for the sound that the alarm makes every time it sets or disarms. So right here, alarm switches to off or on. That's our virtual switch, remember. If any time it turns on or off, we just wanna know about it. So we have our security siren to execute a chime and then a second chime. So it just beeps twice to let us know that it's on or off. Right now, our, our fourth one here is the security off, and that's when someone comes home. So if we come here, if our mode status changes to home, and that our mode status has changed to home anytime anyone comes home, then it's going to say if the alarm is on, then it's going to turn the alarm off, turn off the Alexa guard, send our vacuum cleaner back to its dock, send us a notification. All right, so these last two here are just using our beds to actually set and disarm the alarm. So our sleep by cue good night automation here, if either of these people are in bed for longer than two minutes and the time is after 9.30 p.m., I am in bed and the alarm is off, then it's going to change the mode to night. It's going to turn the alarm on it's going to lock our front door, our kitchen door, our back door, and close our garage. And the Sleep IQ Good Morning is basically the opposite of Good Night. So if any one of these two people are not present in their beds for more than five minutes and the alarm is on, then we are going to change the mode to be home. And remember, when our mode changes to home, then it's going to run this automation. It's very important not to have automations that do the same thing twice. So you wouldn't necessarily want to disarm the alarm in this automation down here if you already have an automation up here that disarms the alarm. So you just gotta be really careful that you don't duplicate automations because that can create a lot of issues. So I'm gonna show you how it works on the dashboard. So if we go over to our Sharp Tools dashboard right here. This is kind of our security section up here. You can see that the back lock is currently unlocked, but if I wanted to set the alarm, I can just tap the alarm tile right here. And then we're just going to type in our pin number and hit the check mark. And then it's going to go ahead and turn on the alarm. 
And then over on our app, you can also see that arm stay is turned on and our virtual switch is also turned on. Now, if I tap this again, I have to put in my pin again. Now it's going to disarm. And now you can see that the virtual switch is turned off on our SmartThings app and our SmartThings home monitor is disarmed. So you can see it works super good. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.